you will learn about the black box performance in an atmosphere of one actor, recall familiar lines and listen to favorite songs of great artists. Today, People's Artists of Ukraine, Oleksiy Horbunov and the popular music band Sadness of the Pilot will tell you about the musical poetic play titled The Black Box. The theater genre is something absolutely new for us. Now we're performing here. In general, we give live performances. I think it is working out. I'm sorry, but the play will start in 15 minutes. Of course, of course, we will talk about it. Oleksiy Horbunov and Sadness of the Pilot are performing on the stage of the Ukrainian Youth Drama Theater, the compulsory run before the musical poetic play The Black Box, based on lyrical motives of the Czech poet Ludwig Ashkenazi, is coming to an end. These are short stories about war, women, children and hope. The musicians are performing different songs by different authors, Leonid Yutosev to Yuri Shevchuk. Ukrainian songs are the gem of the musical program. We perform folk in Ukrainian songs. We also play songs by Vysotsky, Okujala, Tsoi, Shevchuk, and songs from the poems of Lena Kostenko. Of course, we're using Ukrainian verses because we live in Ukraine. How can we do without our Ukrainian song? It was not only the young student of the Theatre Institute Oleksiy Horbunov who became fascinated by the poetry of Czech poet Ludwig Ashkenazi when he still lived in the Rusanivka district of Kiev. This book was presented to me in 1980, when I entered university. When I was a first-year student, I read it together with my teacher Hulakina. Today, Horbunov is famous among many people as film actor, but only a few people know that he is also a musician. So it is no wonder that the musical performance is interesting for Oleksiy, because he has been keen on music for a long time. And due to the theater format, the actor has a great opportunity to realize his versatile potential. Of course, I am an actor, but I think that modern actors have to be able to do everything, to sing, dance and make the audience laugh. An actor's calling is to entertain people differently, not only with stand-up comedy. So it is no wonder that I sing. I have been practicing singing since my early school days, but now I do it at a more professional level. Sadness of the pilot consists of musicians from different Ukrainian cities. Each of them has his experience and a vast portfolio of knowledge. Oleksiy Horbunov has known some of these musicians for many years now. This year we celebrate the 15th anniversary of the original cast of the Sadness of the Pilot band. <laughs> The musicians gave a lot of live concerts over the years of the band's existence, but this year they performed on the theater stage for the first time. Capture the musicians on camera, it is enough shooting for me. They're professional musicians and hyper-professional people. It really hurts me that they're always behind the scene, they're full participants of the performance. Each of them, as well as I, play a lead role that are key to this performance. So capture the musicians on camera and just ask them some questions. Then you will understand that they are not some spoiled, arrogant brats as they will answer all of your questions questions with great pleasure. Oleksiy, just like many celebrities, has a complicated nature, but at the same time he is a person of open disposition if one is able to understand his creative work. I once crossed paths with Oleksiy in my time. I have been working together with him for nine years now, so our band consists in particular of people who are interested in this theme and have a good understanding of what is happening. It gives me much pleasure to work in this vein. I'm working in this genre for the first time in my life. I am from Krivivri. I have been living in Kyiv for 17 years now. We play with Valery Melnikov and the Vast Club. I have also been playing with Oleksiy Horbunov for four years now. Serhii Nidashkivsky is from the glorious city of Ternopil. He is one of the youngest members of the band. Working in tandem with such a great artist as Oleksiy Horbunov, Serhii became obsessed with theater performances. I have a friend, Valery Melnikov. He plays the bass guitar. It is he who asked me to join Oleksiy Horbunov's band as percussionist. Our band is like one large family. We never use notes. In fact, I would say that we created quite another musical format. And the first results of our work are already visible to us and our fan base. Yeah. 
хотя просил шейкеры эти вещи с шейкерами делать, а? Ну, пора запомнить, год мы играем, возьми себе бумажку, запиши, татуировку сделай. Sometimes he scolds for us because we play out of tune and do not maintain the necessary rhythm. He does not like that. When asked the question, is it difficult to work with such experienced musicians as Oleksiy Herbunov and his colleagues from Sadness of the Pilot, Sir, he responded with candid piety. It is difficult, but it does not create any problems. I will follow the advice of people that are older and wiser than I am. Moreover, we try our best to solve all of our problems as a team. The main particular feature of these live performance is the rendition of music compositions without the use of notes. The musicians improvise very often, which requires a special technique and professional skill. In most cases we make arrangements, but of course sometimes there are moments when we improvise. We generally arrange certain pieces of compositions beforehand. Although we improvise, the improvisation has to be developed to the end and tested. In my opinion, we need to have some kind of a basis. The black box is rich with feelings, recollections and famous songs which fascinate generations of previous eras. Stage director Yuri Odinoki helped the actors create a bright and unique performance. It is he who proposed the idea of presenting poetry and songs in such a special way, thus giving the musical poetic performance a bright theatrical form that is suitable for the stage. The idea of such an artistic design belongs to Yuri. He proposed that we dress up in hats and black suits for the roles. As for Oleksiy's performance, mainly verses and texts, he has cherished this idea since his student years. So then Odinoki decided to stage the play. He found some free time and the opportunity, and we began rehearsing. The unique poetry by Ashkenazi, written in the form of blank and free verses, inspired many famous musicians. So it is not surprising that Oleksiy Horbunov, who took great interest in the creative work of this author, offered his colleagues to work with his creative heritage. The black box is about losses, war, goodness and love. So today this play is particularly relevant on the backdrop of the current Ukrainian reality. Wars have ravaged the planet for 2000 years now. There are constant and continuous conflicts between nations. We're living on a planet of wars. This topic was quite relevant in the 1960s during the hippie movement in the US, as well as in the 1980s during the senseless war in Afghanistan, and of course the war in Chechnya in the 1990s. This topic is very close to the heart of the author of the text, as well as for the reciter of the verses. So I think that the theme of good and evil, war and peace, is everlasting. The musicians admitted that the philosophical poetry of Ludwig Ashkenazi about the occupation of Czechoslovakia by the Soviet troops was a revelation for modern spectators, but also for themselves. There are many young people who discover something new for themselves. Even if they did not read the poetry before, they will definitely read it after watching this play. Honestly speaking, at first I did not understand what was going on. The theater genre is something new for us because we are rock musicians. Now we are gradually learning to work in this genre and follow Alexei. He is a very active person. So we try our best to keep up with the pace with this highly energetic Speaking the truth, Oleksiy was first to tell me about the poetry of Ludwig Ashkenazi. It is really interesting. When you look deeper into the content of the text, you get into the character, which totally absorbs you. According to critics, Chef Morka is one of the most talented Crimean Tatar musicians. To work with such a virtuoso is very easy for the whole team and for Oleksiy Horbanova as well, because when playing on the accordion, Chef shows his true master class of the performing arts.
Why do we use an accordion in our performances? We do this because I start the melody playing on the accordion. It sounds very melodious. Apart from that, all of the instruments we play are on an equal level. Sometimes Alexia focuses on playing on percussion instruments. It depends on the situation and the performance. We basically simply improvise. Отнять которого не можешь. Зачем приходишь по ночам, распахнутый с веселой челкой, чтоб просыпался и кричал, как будто виноват я в чем-то? The black box has been staged for already a year now. Oleksiy Horbunov's idea turned out to be a win-win situation, judging from the popularity of the play throughout all of Ukraine. Horbunov's charisma as an actor gave impetus to stage director Yuri Odinoki to transform a concert program into a theater play. And this was precisely the key step in the success of this great live performance. I have been working together with Oleksiy for two years now, but we started to stage the play about a year ago. Prior to that, we were engaged only in concert activity. He had cherished the idea of staging such a live performance of the play for quite some time. I perform with the Sadness of the Pilot Band on the theater stage purely on principle. Today, our band marks its first anniversary. We have already staged the play in 10 Ukrainian cities. Today, we will perform at the opening of the new theater season. This is a unique title based on Ashkenazi's poetry and we're not about to change anything. I would say that Oleksiy has found his spiritual niche. This performance truly invigorates him. In short, his long-cherished dream finally came true. He is really inspired and plans to develop this genre in the future. He has plans to stage performances of a similar format with its profound emotional content. Horbunov is not a professional singer, but he perfectly uses his brilliant vocal timbre, given a deep meaning and a provocative subtext, so all the vocal mistakes make no sense, and the audience is charmed listening to how he sings the words. <laughs> Вместо сумочки И я нашу с собой весь свет Сказала девушка и пояснила Это мой конек Вы знаете, даже если взять Высоцкого I would say that Vysotsky was also not an excellent vocalist, but he put his heart into song. The same can be said about Alexei. Even if he sings out of tune from a musician's point of view, these mistakes are not falsity, because he is sincere. He tries to convey all his emotions to the audience, and with his gestures and voice, he manages to absorb the people listening to his spectacular performance. Although Alexei Horbunov was a popular actor in Moscow and St. Petersburg, all the same he decided to return to his native Ukraine in 2014 and started working in many different spheres, including film, theater and of course music. Needless to say, Horbunov's colleagues in the music workshop gave him an honest and uncompromising assessment. He was a very popular actor in Moscow, but now he's also highly in demand here on the stage in his native Ukraine. He's a true actor who plays without any false pretenses. In short, Alexei Horbunov has a very strong magnetism and exudes incredible charisma to the viewing audience. Oleksiy Horbunov admitted that he always considered himself a character actor, but at the same time he was trying to do something different. In fact, just the opposite. Each new role has to be a surprise and a discovery for him. Playing the role of the black box, he also sought a new perspective and view on life. 
The synergy of creativity and life is the main aspect in art for all participants of the play. While the audience was lucky enough to see a wonderful film actor, talented, sincere musicians on the stage, listen to their favorite songs and remember the timeless verses, even skeptics understood that the principles of sincerity and a deep love for people reign in these fantastic musicians.